Hey guys, it's Punch F41 here, and I'm doing another video, as you can see. Uh, this is the Nottingham Forest vs Sheffield Wednesday uh, review, which I am pleased to say I went to today and fully enjoyed the away day. Very good. Uh, I'll, start, I'll start from the beginning because I kind of walked in from, I stayed at my uncle's house and we walked in from his. It's really good walking in. Just Gathering the atmosphere as you walk, walk to a stadium. Good. We went into a little pub called the Jerusalem Inn. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a load of Wednesday fans in, giving it the "You'll Never Get Past the Mido" song, and just gen general band. It was nice. It was very very. It was good. I it was good. It was you know if we had a sat down and a drink for a while. And it was good. I enjoyed it. It was nice to sit down and actually have a drink. Uh, so yeah, so when we we went, then we went to walk up the canal to the stadium, and then again you found a lot more Wednesday fans in the bars there, and it was good. It was good. It was good to hear people sing. And it seems like anywhere you walked, there was never get past the meadow being sung by fans and it kind of is like a little bit of a calling sign. One will, one will start and then another one will start and then another will start and it's re it really good. It was nice that people uh, kind of used... It's like, it's, like, it's like when people like, it's like a calling sign, it's like uh, where, the, where the set of Wendy fans uh, listen to the Never Get Past the Mido. And the thing is every, everyone today was great joy for the uh, for the player because he got a day, a day for him like the, a day just to celebrate how good he's done for Wednesday and it's nice. I think more things like this should be done, and and I I think I think we need to probably do one for Rido at some point. But I digress. I can talk about Rido in a minute anyway. Uh, I was just about to go over the canal. Uh, I think it was about a group of fifteen. 11 or 15 Wendy fans look like the, uh, in a sense, not hijacked, just managed to get onto a uh, barge and the uh, driver was letting them go down the canal. And it was quite funny, it was really funny seeing it, and it was just funny seeing these lads every time they went past a set of Wendy fans or walking down the thing. You got the, you got, you never get past the Mido chant, and it was nice, it was really good banter, I liked it. Uh, when they got off eventually, and by the time it sounds like there's some, it was some very pissed off coppers. But uh, yeah, so it was good. So we got, we walked to the canal and walked to the ground, and it's a l lovely place to walk to, and just going through the city of Nottingham. And what what some people might not know is that you got, you go past Not County, and then near. Uh, not in the first stadium, the Trent Bridge, the cricket ground. So we get we get there, we go get our places, and I have got some footage which I am going to put in and put a voiceover over the top because it was shit. Uh, I think I might put that in now. So I'm gonna stop the video. I'm I'm not gonna stop the video, but I'm just gonna cut it into it now so you can see it. <laughs> Anyway guys, and so we get so we kicked off and it started well. Uh controlled game and we played well and played really well first half. We had some good chances. Uh halfway through the Wednesday night because I wasn't in the Wednesday section, I did not know they were why they were chanting uh follow the reader, 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 follow the reader uh chant and it because uh Reader Johnson turned up and watched the game in the Wednesday section which was quite cool to see on the pictures that I found earlier. 
Uh, yeah, it's nice to see that like, coming to support the team and have a bit of banter with the fans. It's, I like that. It's it's something different that you don't normally see in football, and you don't see it very often. People doing that, and it's just nice for it to happen. Uh, people get to spend time and see him in the thing. Uh, so we had. I'm trying, I'm trying to think. We had a we had a couple of good chances in the first half, but so did Forest. Uh, I got admit, I thought we had better better possession in the first half and moved better. Uh, we're still very sloppy with pass when we pass it about. It's like a little bit still get cut out, but it was really nice to. Oh, okay, it was really nice how we played it, and I I think. I personally, from the first half, we played well, and um, we could go in, go in, yep, let's carry on. Uh, there wasn't much action, Five Five Forest did pepper and have a couple of, uh, well, they did have a couple of chances. They had a couple of chances of which uh, Kirtland did well to save, but it was just no clinical edge, and there isn't any clinical edge in either team, to be fair, with what I could say. Uh, we both, it seems like both teams need a certain a striker of some sort to get it where it needs to be and we started to, started to get into the game and then at half, as half time whistle went uh, Medin was down injured he got a knock to the head not knowing if he was going to come back out which he did thank god for the second half but I'll show you what it was like in the second half as well as I have some footage there I think and I'll shove this into the video now. Okay, uh, I, you were going to have a clip there of half time, but the footy for some reason will not work. I think it corrupted or something wrong with it. Uh, anyway, it was just me saying it was really hard to deal with uh, with half time, and me and my uncle had a little gentle banter about it and stuff. So, second half kicked off and played wellish. Uh, my biggest problem is that you couldn't hear who was coming on or off by the thing. Luckily, I could tell. Uh, and JJ came on, and at first it looked like his boots were weren't able to like on weren't very good on the pick. He kept on flipping all over the place. But we got into the game eventually. Uh, we start making chances in the other end. We had a brilliant chance. We start well in the first. For 15 minutes, uh, for 15 minutes of game, it was really good. Uh, we should we should have had one which we buried, which was pinballing inside the box. Uh, we should have there should have been a shot by uh, Bothroyd, which was really well saved. And it seems like Antonio was having a lot of joy getting down. On his point of view, the left hand side and JJ down the right. Uh, it seems like. And JJ was starting to bring off some really good stuff. Uh, one of one of the things I got is uh, seeing Bothroy play. Yeah, people criticise him for not being too well, not good enough it for us or a useless. He does little things that people don't really think. Keep the ball open. Uh, got a little bit of girl, which is good. I like it. Uh, I like their play. But here comes the bad bit. Uh, I said to I said to my uncle that it doesn't look like either one of us are gonna st start going at half time and said it's either gonna it can be one if this is, if this is one it's gonna be be unlucky for whoever wins it and it Boris won it from an own goal by Lyra. Uh I'm not too sure if Lyra could have done anything about it neither could Kirtland. Uh, Right, could not head it, but maybe kind of. But yeah, so it's like I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he could do anything. And it, 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 it was, it, it was really, really bad because everyone uh, jumped. They all jumped up as it went in, and yeah, couldn't do that. I got up. I applauded a little bit, and I was like, oh, absolutely gutted. I wasn't the only one uh, when the fan in that stand there were two behind me as well and they were just like oh 
fuck's sake, how can they, that happen? They do not deserve that. And we played well, and they start of peppering us and start playing, getting into the game and stuff like that. And this is uh, what I'm going to talk about now. And it ended one all. But what I'm going to talk about now is that uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday fans were absolutely superb in great voice, uh, singing "Never Get Past the Mido," singing all the songs, and. There was really nothing from the Forest fans. There was a small corner section in the main stand that were singing along and singing songs and but but there was nothing. It was so flat. Atmosphere was crap. It only seemed it only seemed to be good every time we started to the fans started to pick up voice. And after the goal went in uh, on the I think it was 70th minute. Uh, that's another thing. I wish they'd have something that tell you how many, uh, how much time we played, because it's bloody annoying. Uh, but yeah, it was just flat, and it was only Wendy really having a go at singing and stuff, and it just yeah, it was annoying. The people all sat near kept on having like stupid little comments and stuff like that. And at one point, one of the forest band turned and said, "Why the hell are they singing?" Do they think it makes a difference? Well, you have to play it. They say ten, 9 out of 10 as it does, so... Uh, it it was... Full-time whistle went and... It uh, took a while to get out, but... It was gutting, because... I don't think either one of us deserved... Uh, well, different said. I don't think Forrest deserved the points. I don't think they played well. Uh, I think if we got them, we would have deserve it on the way we played and the plot we uh, played because we played really well and I think on performance wise we would have got it but we just not got a clinical forward uh, which is really annoying and we got Rodri and I wouldn't mind seeing Rodri giving a chance in this uh, in this uh, one up front role and see if he can help her I'm not I'm not for, I'm not sure about Medina in this le- league at the minute. Uh, I'm d- I'm not sure in in this league. I don't know if we need to get him get give him more chances. And maybe he need he need to play. I'm sure you need to play with another person side of him. But uh, yeah, this is my Nottingham Forest Sheffield went to view. Uh, yeah, like I said, I have edited this for a change. And I, yeah, I enjoyed the game, and I really hope to go to some more games home and away, uh, and next time not sit in the sit where the home fans are, sit with the away fans, and record and record and record some footage and get some people on, get just get some people in this. Uh, I'm gonna try and upload some stuff my partner had off a phone onto this channel as well. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed it. It was it was a good day. It was a good day out. I gutted we didn't get the th- get we lost and we couldn't get a draw or even get a three point. But football, football. We are now in twenty first. Barnsley just bubbles, and I really, really, really hope we can get out of this. But I don't know what's going to happen. But I don't, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know who we're trying to bring in either. So. We'll see. Anyway, uh, up the owls and hope if you went to the game, tell me how you thought we did and how you enjoyed your experience. Okay, bye.